All right, so let's talk about the binary code crossword puzzle. All right, so this is what you got to do. All right. Okay, so when you look at this puzzle, it's just like any other crossword puzzle, but it's a little bit different, okay, because you're dealing with binary code and numbers. Now, on this crossword puzzle, this across column here, this represents the rows. So this is row one. Row two is blank, so you see it's not listed here. So the next row is row three, which is this row. See here? That's row three. If you, if you count down, this is one, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? Those are the rows. That's what I mean by across. You're going to fill it in across going down. Okay? Now, over here, you see how it says answer? These are the answers to the rows, meaning these are the decimal numbers that should equal this row. So if we look at these answers, this row, if we did it correctly, should equal 76. For Wait, so, we just, so we just add the numbers that equal to 76? Exactly. You just write the binary number that equals the decimal number that's shown here. So, like, for example, for number one, we could put, like, like 75 or no? No. Let me show you what I mean by that. For the first one, you put 76, but in binary form. Exactly, in binary form. So let's look at it. I'll do this first one again. So let's erase this here. So you have to do it in binary form. What's binary? Ones and zeros. This is how computers see data and all electronic devices see data. Okay, so give me a second. I'm going to clean this up for you so you guys can get the idea of what I'm talking about here. Okay, so we have to use those numbers on top. Yeah, you want to always use the value grid for the binary number system. This is what it is. And so let me explain it to you real quick here so we can kind of give you an idea. All right. So so you should draw a grid like I'm like I have here. You should do it on paper. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that right now if you haven't done that. So what you're going to have Okay? So if I want to make the binary equivalent to the number 37, you have column 1 which is the value of 1, column 2 which is the value of 2, column 3 which is the value of 4. So you go 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. These numbers are always going to be the same. And, and there'll be more numbers if we're dealing with more than an 8-bit number. But we're just dealing with 8-bit. And what do I mean by 8-bit? Well, each one of these positions represents... So all of this, this is 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight. That's eight bits here. Okay? So, if I want to make 37, what do I need to turn on to make the one, number 37? Remember, we only add... 30, 30, 32? 30, yeah, 32. So, I turn four, on one. And then what else? Four. Four. And one. And one. And everything else is zeros. You see that? You just did it. This is the binary number for 37. So so we can't use any number, just the ones on top, like the one, two, four. Exactly, exactly. You're always going to write this grid out so you understand how it's done. So that's how you got to do it. And then you do that, you do that with this. So this first number should be 76. 